What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add rebar to your concrete floors in Revit. So we're going to be reinforcing our structural concrete floors with some rebar and I'm just going to be showing you how to use two simple tools and then explaining how they how they work. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media so you don't miss any of the extra tutorials. But anyway, let's get started. Here I am in Revit and for this project I'm going to be using this structural template as this is a kind of a structural project. So let's first go to level 1 and let's create a floor to be adding some reinforcement to. So go here to structure and go to floor and here you've got let's use this a generic uh, 300 millimeter floor and let's cr create just kind of a floor like this and here when you create the boundary of the floor you can see all of these lines are the same except the top one that has in the middle one line on the top and one on the bottom. Uh, what this basically means this is a span direction so basically your rebar or major the majority of your rebar, the, your main rebar, will, will be <coughs> kind of going at this direction. So it will be going horizontally in this case. And if you want to change that, you can go here to span direction and then you can just pick this line and then you can change it. Or you can use this line tool and then you can create your own span direction if you want, if it's some weird span direction or if it's some weird uh, shape of the floor so you can't pick one of the lines. <laughs> But anyway, I'm just going to be using this uh, pick lines tool and picking span direction like this. So it's going to be kind of uh, going from a wall here or a beam here and to the beam here. And the span direction is like this. Okay, let's just hit finish and we have our uh, concrete slab. And if you, if you select this line, this is kind of the uh, span direction uh, I guess you would call it annotation symbol. So it's showing you this dark arrow or half arrow. That means the span direction is going this way. And these smaller ones, that's kind of the secondary, uh, the, the secondary rebar. But anyway, how do you place rebar in this here uh, concrete floor? Well, you go to the area rebar tool and then first you need to select the um, basically where you're going to be hosting your uh, rebar and it will be this floor so you just hit here OK and now you can uh, use the the line tools to create kind of the boundary of your uh, of your rebar so I'm just going to be deleting this for now and let's just use this and give it an offset of point or, or sorry 300 millimeters that's like 30 centimeters and let's start from here uh, hit space to place it on the inside and end over here so once we have this we just hit finish and make sure that the uh, major direction which is basically the span or the kind of the span direction is the same as it was on your uh, structural uh, floor. So you just hit finish and you're done and you get something that looks like this. Now you can't really see what's going on over here so what I suggest you do you go into 3D Make sure you're here on fine and now you can see your rebar over here. And as you can see there is a bunch of it but if you select kind of like this and you kind of select the whole thing and you get these little dragging points so you can kind of change the, the shape of it but let's go back. Anyway, uh, when you select it like this, as you can see, like that, like that, you select the whole thing. And if you scroll down over here, you can see here you've got the additional uh, top uh, cover offset and I've talked about cover in my previous uh, previous rebar video that's basically a kind of the a protection layer that protects your rebar from water or basically from corrosion it protects it from fire so it doesn't uh, melt and then lose its structural uh, strength and it also prevents slippage so it kind of concrete grabs it from uh, all the way around so anyway you can add some offset here so you can add I don't know something like 30 millimeters and here for the bottom let's add additional 30 millimeters so we're kind of changing the, the shape if I go here to uh, right as you can see now this is kind of starting from a, a lower point all of our rebar is starting from this point over here so that's the cover uh, the cover offset but anyway let's go like this in 3d and let's see what other options we have here so let me just kind of drag this 
uh, properties panel make it a bit bigger and let's scroll down to see layers and this is the important part so layers for rebar basically allow you to kind of set up all the rebar you have so you've got your top major direction rebar that's basically the direct the span direction so if that's checked you can here change the bar type so you can go from 13 millimeter to maybe 16 or 10 let's just leave it at uh, 13 for now and then top major hook type so what does this mean that you can have kind of a hook on the end and let's zoom in over here at this corner and let's check this hook to a 90 degree and as you can see here it kind of dropped down so this is that hook or if I change it to 180 it will make it look like this so basically it uh, finds the top major uh, direction and then on that rebar it adds this hook and you can change the direction you can make it go up in this case this doesn't work because it's basically poking out of the floor so let's just change it to go down so that's what you have and here for the top major spacing you basically determine the spacing between these bars then next you've got top minor direction so that's the the one that's going on the other side so let's change perhaps the minor direction let's leave it as is but for the bar type let's uh, set it at 10 millimeters I guess uh, we don't need a hook for this but for the spacing let's make it smaller let's or let's uh, kind of uh, add uh, less rebar so let's place it at I don't know something like 400 millimeter and as you can see now these lines are at kind of a uh, different spacing but anyway let's select the whole thing again you can kind of zoom out and here we go okay so going scrolling scrolling down you can see here we've got bottom major direction and usually this should be thicker so let's add it at 16 and let's add a 90 degree hook and it's automatically set up to go up so as you can see here this hook is going up and let's for the mod, uh, bottom major spacing uh, let's drop this down to something like 200 millimeters so there's more of it because you usually when you're creating floors like this uh, all the tension is at the bottom of your floor slab so you want to add more of it here and here we've, we've got this uh, bottom minor direction we can leave it at uh, at what we already have there so anyway that's how you create rebar in uh, your area rebar in your floors and let's go into level one and let's create a section and so you can see that once you've added rebar like this you can go into section and you can actually see it so it appears in all of your all of your views so you just do it once you set it up and then uh, you can make as many sections or floor plans as you want and you'll be able to see a rebar let's go back here yeah maybe make this wireframe so now you can see all of the rebar you've got over here and here you've got some uh, setup so so basically it says uh, this is a kind of a tag so it says okay so this is the major one on top this is the minor one on top this is the major one on bottom and this is the minor one at uh, bottom so you've got even that tag that tells you basically what you're working with so basically that's how you add uh, area rebar to your uh, Revit project but let's say you don't want area rebar let's delete this let's say you want to add kind of a path rebar just on a corner of this floor slab so for that you have your uh, structural path reinforcement and let's select that and let's first select the the concrete slab that uh, this will be hosted on this path so let's select it you just hit OK over here and now you need to kinda draw it out so I'm just going to use pick lines and pick these two sides and then use these arrows to flip this on the uh, interior side of the of the floor slab you don't want it to be on the outside so you just hit finish and here again you have this additional offset so you can change that let's add it at 30 millimeters as we did later uh, earlier on and let's change this you can have it at maximum spacing or you can use it at fixed number or actually I'm going to leave it at maximum spacing but if you want to change it to a fixed number you can do that as well anyway so now here we need to first select which face this thing is on so let's select it first so basically it's either on top face or at the bottom face so for this project let's just leave it at the top face and let's go over here so for the bar spacing you can change this so you can change it to maybe 200 
as you can see now it's uh, uh, there's a lot more of them or let's uh, bring it back to 300 so now there's less of them and here for the primary bar type you can set it at whatever uh, thickness you want you won't be able to see the thickness here is as you change it it's too a small of a change but anyway so for the length that's how deep this is going into your concrete slab so let's change it to something maybe like 1500 millimeters so that looks like this it's smaller then you can change the shape so you can choose one of these shapes over here but I'm just going to leave it at shape one but if you want you can use something like this or let's use number one this has some hooks so if that's something you would like to use and here you can change these hooks to maybe 90 degrees or 180 or whatever you you choose to to use but anyway, those are some of the basic settings for setting up a, this kind of a linear uh, a linear reinforcement. And you can change this, as you can see, so you can kind of pull it in a bit if you want, or make some additional changes. But anyway, that's how you add a rebar to your floors in or structural concrete floors in Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you want to learn more about reinforcing concrete in Revit, check out some of the links in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.